came upon a 12-year-old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. Stabbed? Correct. Hi, sir. So is are you with this 12-year-old female? Yeah, she says she's having trouble breathing. She said she was stabbed multiple times. Who did that to you? And we, we woke up in the morning and we had donuts and strawberries <laughs> for breakfast and everything was very normal. The girls were laughing and having a good time. And they asked if they could go to the park. And I didn't think anything of it. I said, yeah, of course you can go to the park. I told Bella we were gonna play hide and seek. Peyton said that she didn't want to play hide and seek, but Morgan said that the next game that they played could be her choice. Peyton said that Anissa pulled her deeper and deeper into the woods. somehow survived. She crawled out of those woods. A bicyclist found her on the sidewalk, covered in blood and begging for help. And you were biking by and she says to you what? Could you help me please? I've been stabbed multiple times. I quick got out my cell phone. I was shaken. When asked who attacked her, she said, my best friend. The suspects were inspired by a character on a website called Creepy Pasta, a site filled with scary stories. Now, the story they followed was about a character called Slenderman. Who is the shadowy figure? Morgan and Anissa not only believed in Slenderman, they wanted to prove to the world he was real. Morgan said, hey, Anissa, we should be proxies. I was like, okay, how would we do that? She indicated that in order to become a proxy of Slenderman, you needed to kill somebody to prove yourself worthy to him. I was excited because I wanted proof that he existed. Why did you decide to stand Peyton? It was necessary. Peyton was very scared. She was scared. What were you trying to do with her when you stabbed her? Kill her. I might as well just say it, we were trying to kill her. 